Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy and finally I am doing another Project Pan update. If you were not aware, Geek Guy is a Filipino slang word for someone who loves makeup, beauty, and fashion. And on my channel, those are exactly the things that I create videos about, with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Okay, I know I've been slack, you guys. The last Project Pen update that I did was back in June, which was... three months ago and like it feels like ages and ages ago three months ago really isn't that long ago but anyway i'm going to stop making excuses i have been making progress on my project pen and in today's video we're going to talk about the progress i've made on the existing project pen items things that i'm almost at the end of using up a couple things that i am removing from the project pen and why we're going to get into it and a couple things that i'm adding to my project pen so Stay tuned for that one. If you guys want to see the progress I have made on my 2019 project pan, then just keep on watching. If you do enjoy, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and ring the notification bell. Punch it, slap it, clap it, knock on the door, however you want to ring that notification bell. Just ring it because I put out three videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Ikai. And if you are watching this video and you don't subscribe, honestly, that is just so incredibly hurtful, but you know what, I'll get over it. Not every Everybody in this world likes me and that's just the way it goes anyway let's get started on this video the first item that I have been chipping away so diligently with and you know what I actually use it almost every single day is the Colourpop Dream Street eyeshadow palette now I know eyeshadow palettes are incredibly difficult to hit pan on but I have hit pan on some eyeshadow palettes before and that was before when I had half a billion eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I really only had maybe the couple to choose from but I have made a bit of progress with this eyeshadow palette it's gonna be a little bit difficult to show you on camera but for work I used the shade potion and elfish just blended out in my transition and on the outer corner and then I use kaleidoscope on my eyelid that is my normal everyday go-to eyeshadow look for work and sometimes even for going out when I want a bit of makeup but not too much and I just go a little bit more heavy with the shade elfish on the outer corner and I actually add a little bit more eyeliner and mascara that is my go-to makeup look so I have made a bit of progress on this eyeshadow palette it's just I haven't hit pan on it yet again eyeshadows are incredibly difficult to hit pan on because you have to go in so many times and you have to go in ham in order to actually use up any kind of product and you don't want to put on too much product in your eyes just for the sake of using up an eyeshadow palette but I'm still chipping away at it I'm not actually sick of it yet and maybe I might even do another eyeshadow look using this palette I have done a look with this palette on my channel before but for some reason that video didn't even get anywhere close to 50 50 views I think so I might even do it again and try my luck next time with that look but you know let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see another makeup video using this palette otherwise let's just put it to rest and just not even try again because I'm not going to spend eight hours on one video if it's not going to be seen and if no one wants to see it so anyway you, you, you feel me you feel me okay you feel me Okay, moving on to the next item. The next item in this project pan is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Yes, I've made a bit of progress. Look at that, look at that. You can see that beautiful little spot in the middle, which means I have hit pan. Yes, I use this every single day, and I'm still working my way around the edge to try and use up every single little bit of product because this highlighter is so freaking beautiful. I'm not wearing any of these products on my face today, actually, except for the mascara, but there's another whole story about that one. Anyway. This this is the progress that I've made on this highlighter. The dent in the middle is definitely bigger than the last time I showed this on my channel. And probably the reason why I don't do these updates monthly is because you have to let so much time pass and even if you use the product every single day, it's still going to take up time to use up any one product. So anyway, that's that's the data about that one. With the exception of a few of these products, this is what I wear to work every single day. So I'm surprised that I haven't actually even used up these products. So just goes to show that how waste just realizing now how wasteful a lot of you know having so much makeup is but you know what it's not so much about the wasteful as the collector's uh, aspect of things anyway I'm not gonna get into all of that right now so I will probably be doing another update maybe around mm, October November another oh my goodness it's nearly Christmas I'm gonna be doing another project pan update maybe around November and hopefully I will have made even a bit more progress on this highlighter as with everything else in this pan because that's kind of the point of this pan project pan isn't it <laughs> 
Okay, the next item is this Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. It's a little bit difficult to show you guys how much I've used this, but just, just believe me when I say I've used this lipstick at work nearly every single day. About, I wear this to work about 80% of the time. I used to wear it to work every single day, but I kind of got over wearing red lipstick to work every single day, especially now that I'm branching out in different colors in my wardrobe. Red doesn't really go with everything that I wear now these days, whereas I just used to wear black to wear all the time and just red and black just go together. Lipstick is one of those things that you have to wear for months and months and months and months in order to actually hit pan or use up most of it. It's still my favorite lipstick ever, still my go-to lipstick when I'm going out of an evening because a bright red lip, you, can, you know, you can't go wrong with that. So still chipping away at this Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Again, side note you guys, if you want a really good long lasting liquid lipstick that is long lasting. <laughs> Try the Ofra Cosmetics ones because these ones wear beautifully. Some of these you need to wear a lip liner with, like the really darker vampy type of shades. But this one, I don't need to wear a lip liner with it and it stays on my lips for the full eight hour duration of my shape. Sure, it looks a little bit a little bit dry and a little bit chalky by the end of my shape. It's starting to like ball up a little just because I do have dry lips. But it doesn't really super dry out my lips, which is what I love about these Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Definitely check them out. They don't come in this type of packaging anymore. I just haven't been able to buy a brand new one of this and I don't need to because I'm trying to use this one up. And that brings us to the next item which I am trying to use up and this is the Maybelline City Bronzer. Now to be 100% honest, I probably haven't made a whole lot of progress on this bronzer even from the last update video which was about, th which was three months ago. And the reason for that being is because I've got another pressed foundation. I think it's the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder and I do love love using that as bronzer and because it is an item that has been discontinued I just use it for every day and not show it here on my channel if that makes any sense but sometimes I do like to use this Maybelline City Bronzer in some of my videos and I like to change it up I haven't been using it every single day I can see that there is a little bit of a dent in the middle it's gonna be really difficult to show it on camera but I probably use this maybe every other day and sometimes I use it even on top of that um, Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder which is a darker shade so I can use it for bronzer so this is the progress I've made on this bronzer. Hello, focus. Focus on me. Focus on me. My face is right here. You got one job. Actually, you got two jobs. Focus and record. You're doing it. You can do it. <laughs> Talking to my camera. I'm going crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, so as you can see, there is a little bit of an indent forming in this bronzer. Give me another few months. Be patient with me. I am actually using it better than some of the other bronzers in my collection that I haven't been even looking at. At all. I'm kind of the person that once I get comfortable with something, I don't really like to venture out of my comfort zone, especially if it's a face product that's really been working for me. But anyway, I'm gonna keep chipping away at that Maybelline City Bronzer. Hopefully, by the time I do my next Project Pan update, I'll at least have a tiny little hole in the middle that says, I've hit pan. But anyway, still working away on that one. Now, the next one is the Essence All Eyes On Me Mascara. This is the one mascara that I use. I literally do not use any other mascara. This this works for me, I stick to it. I have not completely used this one up and it hasn't even completely dried up. I'm still using it. I know it sounds gross, you're meant to change your mascara every month, I think they say, but you know what, if it still works, it still works and it's only my eyes I'm using it on, I'm not using it on anyone else's eyes. And probably the reason why I haven't even come anywhere close to using it up is because for one number one, I don't wear mascara every single day. Mascara is one of those things that I feel I can do without and I would much rather spend my time getting ready in the morning applying bronzer or blush or highlight rather than mascara because I feel I can do without this one. My workmates and I were just talking about it the other day. They would much rather wear mascara than foundation or concealer or whatever. And it's really interesting to see that we all have that one thing that we just can't do without in our routine, especially if we're in a rush. What, anyway, my point is, what I'm trying to say is the reason why, number one, I haven't used this up is because I don't use it every single day. And number two is because I have two. So, not only do I not use mascara every single day, I'm chopping and changing in between two because I have one in my bedroom where I get ready in the morning and I have another one in my filming room which I probably even use more than I do this one because this is what I put on just when I'm maybe going out for a quick dinner or you know catch up with friends or whatever and then this one I use here in my for my videos. 
I don't know, wish me luck using this. They're probably gonna dry up before I even end up hitting pan on either one of them. So anyway, that's my little story. That's my little true story about mascara. Okay, the next one is this Drunk Elephant C from a Day Serum. I know, I know, I did say in my last video, no doubt in the next update video, I'll have used it up. But I'm getting pretty close to the end of it. I know it's good for my skin, but I don't like to use it every single day because it kind of breaks me out and gives me a little bit of texture, but it does help for that little bit of extra TLC for my skin. So that's why I haven't even used it up, but I know I'm close to the end of it. I, I can't even show you the progress that I've made on it, and I can't even show you that I'm nearly at the end. But from the sounds of it, I only probably have maybe 10 uses left out of this. Hopefully, I'm trying to use it up. This is still the only skincare item that I'm going to keep in my project pan. My skin is kind of in a really good place right now, so I don't really want to mess it up by adding and introducing different things to my skincare routine because at the moment, all I'm really using for primer, for moisturizer, toner, serum, night thing is this one and a little bit of La Roche-Posay. But really, mostly just glycerin about 99% of the time. I don't know, my skin's in a good place and I don't want to fuck it up. Anyway, I'm gonna still just keep using this one. Shut up, JV. Just move on to the next thing. Oh my god. And probably the item that I am most excited about to show you is this one. <laughs> this is the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. I have made so much progress on this, probably because it's a little bit light. I can go in ham with this and not look like a clown, not look like I've overdone blush. Check out the decent amount of pan size showing in this baby. I'm very, very close to the end of this. Sometimes even using it, I don't, I can't even pick up that much because where the brush hits is like I need to like go around the outer perimeter of it. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Probably don't even need any more makeup on my face right now, but I'm just doing it. So anyway, anyway, back to my video. <laughs> This is the progress I have made on this blush. Pretty happy with it. I'm gonna keep on going and it'll definitely, definitely be empty by the next Project Pen update. Gee, don't make yourself a liar. It's gotta be empty by the next Project Pen video. Okay, now for the few things that I added to my pen from the last video. One was the Maybelline Monster Fix Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. I have made definite progress on this. I mean, it's not a very huge vial, vial, container, compact, what do you call it? It's not a very huge container. Setting powder is one of those things that you pick up a lot of when you are using it. And I use powder every single day as well, so I have made definite progress with this one. This was full when I filmed that last video because I hadn't even started using it yet, but now check this out at how much more empty it is. I'm making a bit of progress with that Maybelline Monster Fix Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. It's actually really good. It's not my favorite. I don't love it as much as I love my RCMA No Color Powder. The setting strength of it probably doesn't last as long as the RCMA one, but it, it does the job. This is pretty good. It doesn't leave a white cast on my face. It blends in really nicely, and it leaves my skin looking really smooth and flawless. I'm not regretting adding it to my pan, so so gonna keep that one and hopefully it'll be empty by the next time I film my project pen update. Now the next item is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Now I do love this. I love the way that it looks on my skin. The only reason why that I don't use it every single day is because it's not as long wearing as my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. Also, I just couldn't seem to get a darker shade than this, which is pathetic because it's too light for me still and this is the darkest shade shade that they own and I'm not exactly the fairest person on the planet either. So I really, really wish that they would come out with more darker shades in the shops that I have here in my town. Like if I want to get a darker shade, I have to buy it online. Buying foundation online hasn't always ended very well for me. I usually end up with a shade of foundation that is not my shade, which is why I like to go into the shop to buy my foundation. But also not only that, with the weather getting warmer here where I am, my skin is going to get darker because the sun is out a lot, a whole lot more. So I mean, not only is it already too light for me in the winter, coming spring, summer, it's gonna be way too light for me and I do want to look like someone who knows how to shade match uh, who does know how to wear makeup and foundation and wearing a foundation that is way too light for me is not going to give off that impression now is it hopefully I can use it up because I do love the formula it's just too light for me and I find that I need to wear a whole lot more bronzer and a whole lot more powder when I use this foundation so anyway it just requires a little bit more work when I do use it and sometimes in the morning when I'm getting ready for work I don't want to fuck around with my makeup and I find that 
using this foundation, I do need to. I need to blend it in a little bit more because it is more luminous. It's a little bit more hydrating. And I just find that this one is just so much more quick and easy. But anyway, I'm going to keep on going on with that one. I don't hate it. I don't, it's not my favorite, but I'm going to keep on using it anyway. Okay, the next one was a bit of hair care. This one is the Swatchkoff Daily Oil Elixir. I have been making good progress with this. I do use this regularly because I don't conditioner my hair. I only shampoo. I just go in with a bit of this after I've washed my hair. Probably can't really see it on camera, but there's about that much left in the bottle. It doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy. I have it in the ends of my hair right now. My hair kind of just absorbs it. It's actually a really, really good one. It works for me and I actually really like it. It'll probably be empty by my next project pan, hopefully, because I do use about three pumps of this every time I apply it in my hair. So I've been loving that one. It's not really a new thing for me. I have been using this for many years now. So I'm making my way through that one. So another thing I added to my project pan in that last video was the OXX Studio Lipstick. Now I don't like Kmart makeup at all. It's probably the shittest makeup that I have ever put on my face. The OXX lipstick was one of the things that I thought maybe I could put up with and use up just for an everyday lipstick. But the first time I went to go use it. It was such a stiff lipstick. It was more waxy than creamy that I pressed so hard that it broke the bullet. Like it broke the lipstick. So it came out. I can't even use it. That one I'll be removing from my project pan because it is unusable. It's going to go in the bin. And I mean, look, does that look familiar? Jacqueline Hill? Jacqueline Hill? Does that look familiar? <laughs> I need to stop. She was sincerely sorry about all the shit that went down with her lipsticks. And that just sucks, man. Imagine launching and being so excited about your company and it just goes to shit. Imagine that. She would have lost so much money. Anyway, this is Kmart makeup. This is not Jaclyn Hill lipstick. Let's just clarify that right here, right now. But it is going to get thrown out because I cannot use it. It just, it broke. It broke. And I'm kind of low-key not really sad about it. So that can go in the bin right now. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about two items that I am adding to my project pants. Just like a continual rolling project pan because I'm adding things and I'm removing things as, you know, my life ebbs and flows. So while I am removing one bullet lipstick, I am adding one bullet lipstick. This is the ColourPop Satin... Is it Satin? I don't even know what the line is called, but it's their bullet lipstick. Is their Satin Bullet Lipstick line? I think it's a creamy... I don't know. I should Google this and actually give some proper information to you guys in this video. A few moments later. This is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick line. And this one's in the shade What's Your Sign? Kathleen Lights came out with this shade in her Zodiac Collection collaboration with ColourPop. And I really love this shade. As you can see, I have used it a fair bit already. It's one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It's maybe more of a peachy nude than a nude nude. I need more of a brown toned nude for my lips. Actually, this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now with a more brown lip liner anyway. Anyway, this is the lipstick that I am adding to my project pan. Really love this shade. It's so pretty. And what I really love about this is the formula is so hydrating. Like it does not leave my lips dry or chapped or feeling bally or sandpapery. I used to be all about the matte lips, like using just the Ofra Cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick because it was matte, it was long wearing and it was transfer proof. This is definitely not transfer proof. It's more of a satin creamy formula but that's what I love about it. It's very hydrating on the lips. If you have not yet checked out the ColourPop Lux lipstick, then definitely go check them out because they are a beautiful formula. I feel like trends come and go before these were all the lipsticks that we knew about and then liquid lipsticks became all the rage. Everybody was coming out with liquid lipsticks and it was all about this one and then it's all coming back to the bullet lipsticks again. So it just goes to show trends, you know, come and go and especially now with so much makeup being released on the market, the makeup industry is booming. It feels like a company is coming out with so many new releases every single week and it, we as consumers can barely keep up. And even something that I might have talked about last week is just old news already. And it's, as a YouTube creator, it's just so difficult to keep up, which is why I feel like Project Pan videos are so good because it brings us all back down to earth, reminds us that we don't need a lot of makeup, and it reminds us that we can get so much use out of one item. And that's what I love 
about these project pan videos because it reminds me that it's okay to not have all the newest latest and best things except for Juvia's place eyeshadow palettes because like this is my jam I'm all about this I've just purchased the latest three new things that they've come out with and I'm not even sorry about that so anyway and that's the that about that lipstick I'm going to add that to my project pan definitely love it so I don't think I'll have any issues using it up now the next item that I am adding to my project pan is this Bath and Body Works Butterfly Kisses perfume. Now I've had this for a little while. I'm someone who loves to collect perfumes and I just kept forgetting to put perfume on in the morning because you know it's one of those things that unless you're in the habit of doing, you just forget to do. Duh. Of course, shit, that's kind of how it works. So I have been making my way through this Butterfly Kisses perfume and I'm close to the end of it now, so I thought I may as well add it to my project pan so that I can share it with you guys that I actually am nearly at the end of using up a perfume. Give me another maybe couple weeks using this and I will be at the end of it. In fact, I don't have any perfume on right now. I'm gonna... Oh, it smells so good. I've decided to integrate more perfumes into my everyday normal routine because I have so many. Like if you guys want to see a perfume collection, let me know and I will film that for you. I just feel like perfumes is one of those things that nobody's really interested in seeing videos about because you can't smell it and you can't appreciate the same experience that I'm experiencing because you can't smell through video, obviously. But anyway, let me know if you want to see that and I'll share my perfume collection with you guys. So that is the second and last thing that I'm adding to my project pan for this particular up Update. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy Project Pan videos, sound off in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your feedback. Let me know what your favorite products are that you are working on using up currently and so that you can move on to the next one. It's a definitely a feeling of accomplishment when you've used up an item. So anyway, I'm pretty pleased with the progress that I have made with this last three months in my Project Pan. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've made it this far into the video, love you so much. Leave Leave some flower emojis in the comments and if no one else bothered to make it this far into the video like you have, all those suckers will have no idea what all the flower emojis are all about. I actually got the idea to do this from Brianna on Purple Pink Red here on YouTube. Leave those flower emojis in the comments down below so if you've made it this far into the video. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I really, truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Subscribe, ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Just for the sake of you... But sometimes I do like to use this Maybelline City Maybelline, which is darker, which is a darker shade, which I use. As you can see, there is beginning... Oh my nose is itchy. But anyway, back to what was I talking about? Mascara. They have like hyper hyper sticky skin, I guess. Anyway, I don't know. Care for my face, care for my skin. What it was that? What even was that? Uh, night eye serum, night 99, uh, but mostly just glycerin. But for, what's my point? What am I trying to say? It's a really pretty brush, brush. It's a really, really pretty blush. Focus. Focus, hello, good job. Yeah, so, but, I used it, but it, so this is the ColourPop Lux, Lux, bleh. <laughs> Kathleen Lights came out with this shade in her collaboration. Kathleen Lights came out with this shade, Kathleen Lights, Kathleen Lights came out with this shade in her collaboration. <sighs> but anyway, what am I saying? I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just what? What am I just? Um, I'm just gonna keep on getting on with this video. <laughs> so, pretty, so pretty pre, pretty priest. I'm pretty priest.